OK, let's move to Python and build our own tree from scratch using only NumPy. We will build a classification tree in this video. We load the necessary libraries, NumPy and matplotlib, to plot. We will define a node class, which will only store information of each node. For split nodes, we will store what feature the split is made on, what is the threshold value, and what are the left and right nodes connected to it. If it's a leaf node, we will only store the final value of the node. Next, we need some metric. Here we will use the Gini coefficient. We'll call NP unique with return counts equal true to give us two arrays, one of the different classes and the other of their counts, and calculate the P's by dividing the counts by the total samples. Then we'll calculate the Gini. Next, we will create a function to find the best split in each node. So this function receives the X features and Y labels that reached a specific node and finds the best split. We start by calculating the start score of the node and then set the information gain to zero. We then iterate over the different features and for each feature, we find all the possible cutoff values by calling NP unique. Then we iterate over each of those values and calculate the information gain from the split. To do so, we first split the data according to the feature and threshold. We calculate the metric score for the right and left nodes. We calculate the weighted score and then the information gain. If the information gain is the best one yet, we keep it as well as the feature and the cutoff value. Now it's time to build a tree. As mentioned in the previous video, there are several ways to do this. We will use the recursion way. If the node is pure and there's only one type of class in the node, we return the final node with the value equal to the majority vote. NP bin count returns an array with the number of observations in each class, and argmax returns the index of the biggest class. We then find the best split using the method we defined before. If the method didn't find the best feature, we return the majority vote again. If it did, then we split the data according to the best split and call this function again in a recursive manner. For split or internal nodes, we will also return the node with the information about what is the best feature, best threshold, and the pointers to the left and right subtrees. Once we have a build tree, we need a way to use it for prediction. We will traverse the data point recursively according to the decision rules until we reach a leaf node. This is done one prediction at a time. If we want to do so for a batch, we will define this helper function that will iterate over the batch. Now we will use these helper functions from sklearn. This helper function will create a 2D classification data set. Let's plot it. We will split the data into train and test sets. We will build the tree on the train set, then predict the results on the test set and calculate the accuracy by comparing the predicted results to the true results. We see we get an accuracy of 70%. To visualize the tree, I use this library called graphviz. I had to install it both on Windows and by using pip. And this is a helper function to translate the tree object to the necessary format. We can visualize the tree now. Finally, let's plot the decision boundary. We can see that this looks too complex. There are some weird maneuvers going on here and here. And so this tree probably overfits the data. So let's try to add some restrictions to the build tree method. I've implemented three different stop criteria here, max depth, min samples of split, and min samples of leaf nodes. The main changes are as follows. We don't just stop if we reach a pure node. We also stop if we reach the maximal depth, and we keep count of the depth by this variable, which we initiate with one and add to it as we go down the tree in the recursion. We also stop if we have less data in the node than the mean sample split. Other than that, we don't split unless both child nodes have more samples than min samples live. We could have also implemented this with the split search, such that if the best split doesn't follow this criteria, we look for the next best split. But this is a simplified implementation. If the best split results in a leaf node with two less data, we stop and make the node a leaf node. If we build this tree now and set the max depth to be five, we see that we get a better test set accuracy of 85% instead of 70%. Also, the decision boundary looks much more reasonable. Here I also ran it again with min samples live of five and got 95% accuracy. Okay, here's some homework challenges for you guys. Try to implement the entropy impurity measure and pass it along to the build tree function. Try to implement the tree using a stack or a queue. Implement the minimal information gain stop criteria. And if you're feeling brave, 
implement a regression tree using the MSE or MAE criteria. Remember to set the value to the mean if you're using the MSE and to the median if you're using the MAE. Post your solutions in the comment sections below. This is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.